Hey Carb Crunchers, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 24 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And today's topic is food combining. So this is a big one. It is really quite complex, okay? So going through it in a six, seven minute video is gonna be difficult, but I'm gonna try my best and try and cover the fundamentals and just get them out of, out of the way and do my best to make it as less confusing as possible, which to be honest is quite difficult. A lot of people have different opinions on food combining, but what I always say is, you know, some food combining rules are meant to be broken. See what works for you, try all the different combos and see how you feel. And why is food combining important? Well, to, to be honest, like it is so, so important if you want to keep a flat belly, all right? Like I can remember, so many times in the past when I had no idea about food combining, having this big bloated belly. And it's really uncomfortable. So that's a big thing, having a nice flat belly and a nice efficient colon. Because foods, different foods digest at different rates depending on how much water they contain and whether they're fats or starches, etc. So today I'm going to take you through some of the basic principles so let's start with the melon or let's come over here for a start these are the different groups so we've got melon all right it's kind of by itself there we've got liquids water juice coconut water we've got sweet fruits here bananas dates pears come back here we've got fats and no I'll talk about this in a second fats we've got sub acid so kiwi fruit and apples I mean, we would have, like sub acid as well, um, stone fruit. I would have a much bigger variety, but the fr fruit is very limited at the moment, so this is all we have. Acid. Acid fruits. That's citrus and lemon, tomatoes, starches. Okay, greens up here. And we've got dried fruit. All right, so let's go back to the melon. So melon is one that has to be eaten by itself. Because it's so high in water, it's at least 97% water. So it digests really, really quickly and it runs into all the other food that you're eating. Like just say that you had you know, oats or something for breakfast and then you had some bananas and that for lunch and then you had melon for dinner. That's gonna really cause a traffic jam because it digests so fast, it catches up to even the oats that you had in the morning, it catches up. It really does. Whatever's in your colon, the melon will catch up and mix with it, cause gurgling, bloating, and you're not gonna feel too good. So, over to liquids. Okay, so here we have the liquids. Okay, liquids need to be consumed by themselves. Unless, if you're making a smoothie, if you're making a smoothie, then you can add water and you can add juice to the smoothie. And it seems to digest fine when it's been pulverized with the fruit. But if you're going to have it, have it away from, if you have liquids, have them away from solid food. So say you drink some juice, you can have some solid food pretty quickly before, I mean after it. But if you have solid food and then juice, it's going to not digest the best. You should wait at least an hour, an hour and a half, depending on what you've eaten. All right, so let's come over to the next one. We've got sweet fruit here. Okay, the sweet fruit does not go with the fats. Okay, so we've got fruit and fats does not mix well. They have different water content, just different molecular structure, okay? So they don't mix well. The sweet fruit and sub-acid, some do mix okay, like apples and dates do. Kiwis, hmm, not so good. That's where the lines are a little bit fuzzy. Some things combine well, some things don't. So go on to, yeah, the acid, sweet fruit and acid, no, these do not really mix well. Look, you don't want to be putting tomatoes and bananas together. No. Um, sweet fruit and starches, don't do it. No, it doesn't work. Okay, sweet fruit and dried fruit, mm, not so much. I recommend dried fruit is just eaten by itself because it's so low in water it digests at a different rate to fresh fruit. Perhaps you could suggest that they put water with it to re... Um... Yeah, yeah, well if, if you want it to digest better, then definitely soak it in water and it will inflate with the water and it will digest better. Good point, Mum. Mm. So we've got greens, greens... Oh, sorry, we've got to go back here, so... We're going still in the sweet. 
Sweet fruits, they go with greens. Greens go with everything. All right? Next one is the fats. So the fats, I don't recommend you eat this. I recommend you slather it on your skin. So let's get this out of the picture. Mm -hmm. These ones, nuts. This is all I recommend for fats for a whole week is avocado. Just one avocado or this much nuts. I'm not a big fan. You know, you're a high carb creature. You need lots of sugar in your cells, not lots of fat. So these do not go ever with sweet fruits. Don't do it. No. All right. Sub acid. Sometimes they can go okay with some um, sub acid fruits. And I recommend that you look up sub acid fruits. Berries, for example, do go well with fats. Okay. Berries do mix quite well with fats. So, um, acid. Yes, acid do go well. Acid go well with these. You can make a nut you know, tomato, citrus dressing. They go actually really quite well. And avocado goes well with them, so these mix well. Nuts and avocado and greens. Greens go excellent. Do it. That's fine. Starches and fats. Yeah, they're okay. They're moderate. They're not too bad at all. So see how you feel with it. Give it a go. And just try to keep the fat definitely low and the starch high. Okay, dried dry fruit and avocado and nuts. Dried fruit and nuts, nah. It is a really, really bad idea. Don't do it ever. Okay, so next we have the acid. Acid fruits. Uh, acid kind of, you know, they go okay. They don't go there. They go here. Like I said, they go here and they do go here. All right, that's done. That was pretty easy. Greens go with everything. Okay, greens just... Everything except the melon, remember? Melon by itself, only for breakfast, not later in the day, or it's going to run into other foods in your colon. Starches? Starches go with, yes. Acid? No. Don't go with sweet fruits. Don't go with subacid. Go with acid, yes. Go with greens. Liquids, no. And that's it. Dry fruit by itself. I think we've pretty much just covered it. Okay, so... I know that sometimes, you know, it's going to be a little bit confusing for you and this might have been a little bit confusing as well, but it is a very complex subject and you've got to see what works for you. It's taken me years to really refine it to the point where I'm at now and I feel really good, like, combining what I do. So just play around with it, have fun, just keep the melon by itself, keep the liquids by itself except for a smoothie and keep the fat low and you should does be fine. Does that include all melons? Yeah, all melons. Yeah, definitely rock melon as well. Melon is just one of those things that needs to be eaten first thing in the morning and then not after that. So I hope that helped. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Hopefully this cleared up a few little questions that you have, a lot of your concerns. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 25, I think. And I'm going to interview mummy, I think. <laughs> that should be fun and don't forget to go fruit or root yourself have a great day bye banana girl go fruit yourself